Hello guys, welcome to Hot Ninja Entertainment. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Anytime when they come across this video. And guys, if this is your first time passing through this YouTube channel, don't forget to support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and on the bell icon and share this video. God bless you as you do so and God bless my subscribers and my followers on Facebook. I know the way we take the analyzer here now. The way we take see the matter. And so we take the table round. Manzi Nandi Kanu, the leader of IPOP, send message to Bishop Koka. Hello, guys. Hello, people. Welcome back to another segment here with Hot Ninja Entertainment. Greetings, viewers all over the world my country people now don't say i promise and say i'll give an update with they going for this our country called nigeria as the report they reach my hand now so i'll tell you bigger they come here they update to now so guys before we watch the video if this is your first time passing through this youtube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that whenever i drop any video you will be the first person to see it so guys without wasting much time guys i will leave the video to play so that we can watch the video together and don't forget also to drop your comments at the comment section what you think about this video your opinion as well so guys without wasting much time let's drive and very speedily to preach this very gospel that we have been mandated to preach this very day. Because heaven and earth will bear us witness that they came in their time and the gospel of redemption was preached and men were saved from their folly. This evening I will start by calling upon Bishop Coca, or should I say all the Catholics around the world to please one Bishop Coca to desist from making statements and comments that will annoy God Almighty in heaven. If he continues in the manner that we have deduced he is likely to follow, then I will place cross on him in public. I am not saying this very lightly because he is a man that I have enormous regard and respect for. Bishop Coca, I respect him. I love him immensely. But he came up with some statements which are, should I say, unbecoming of a sensible, reasonable human being. Therefore, he must retrace his steps. We must also remind ourselves that a few days ago, I said something about those of them trying their damnest best to try to keep Nigeria together a zoological republic that should not exist in the first place. And this evening, I want to reinforce this very fact that the curse that I placed upon United Kingdom, a people that I revere and I love very much, people that I hold their citizenship and have sworn allegiance to, and will continue to defend their interests, genuine interests, of course, because I am an Anglophile at heart. That's very pretend today. It is not up to seven days that I made that statement live here on air, the leader of the Welsh people have come out to make a categorical statement that Britain no longer exists in their own thinking. This is what I want to guide the thinking of all our people. I want it to guide our understanding of what is happening in the zoo and to understand also the spiritual dimension which we have chosen to pursue this very noble cause. According to Mark Drakeford, who is the leader of the Welsh people in the UK, and I quote, the United Kingdom is over, he said. UK, as I told you a few days ago, that anybody who has a hand or who is trying to keep Nigeria together, their kingdom or their entity will disintegrate. These are the things that I'm wanting to understand this very evening, that Nigeria has expired. The wrath of Almighty God is upon Nigeria. Look at Tinubu, for example, what the Yorubas are going through on his account. 
Look at how the Christian managers in the north are being slaughtered and brutally massacred by the Janjaweed elements of the Caliphate. Because the likes of Bishop Coca is there preaching unity that he knows doesn't exist. Because Britain is directly involved in trying to keep together what God Almighty has rendered asunder. That is the reason why Mark Gregford has come out to say that United Kingdom is over. He's a very heavyweight politician in the UK, the leader of the Welsh people. He is the first minister of the Welsh people. Wales, of course. In the UK, is a principality, and mind you, Prince Charles is supposed to be the Prince of Wales, or should I say, the titular head of the government of Wales people. But here we have Mark Dreadford saying it categorically that Britain is over, and I want Britain. If you continue to meddle in the affairs of Nigeria to the extent whereby you are presenting a stumbling block to the emancipation of the children of God, the children of light, United Kingdom will be decimated. Because you're very proud and very arrogant, because you think that your Caucasian, you're white, you can do anything and get away with it. You may think that the disintegration of the UK has nothing to do with Biafra, but I can assure you categorically that it has. If you do not stop meddling in Nigeria, if you do not stop these, your, should I say, perverted, racist devotion to keeping people who shouldn't be one together in one monstrous entity called the Zoological Republic of Nigeria, believe you me, God Almighty in heaven will destroy Britain beyond recognition. And it started to happen already. It is happening already. I warned you and I told you, you may disregard the expectation for Biafra and tag it as nothing. Because you came, you saw, you conquered and you colonized. But I'm warning you today, if you continue, the wrath of God will be upon you. As I warned the zoo many, many years ago, if you don't allow we be our friends to go, that zoological republic called Nigeria will be a worse place than Somalia. And today it is happening. And if you have not applied for your Somalian visa, please try and do so. Should I say Somali visa? Try and do so as quickly as possible because the zoo is on the path of destruction and there is nothing man can do to reverse it. Mark today's date and what I'm telling you, Nigeria will be destroyed beyond human comprehension. So says the Lord of hosts. Anything I tell you here is gospel. Anything I open my mouth to tell you must come to pass because Almighty determined that we should come and we have come to preach this very gospel in truth and every honesty. And I want Britain to understand this today. If you stand as an obstacle on the path of Biafra freedom, you will be destroyed. The same way that the late dead Buhari tried. Buhari tried to stop Biafra from coming. Today he's in a shallow grave in Saudi Arabia, not only that. That kingdom he was trying to build is now shaking. That very kingdom, that very Fulani Caliphate, the Fulani takeover of Nigeria is in tatters because we are here or should I say, Chipoki Kabiyama determined that we should come. And nothing, absolutely nothing, is going to stop us from performing the will of the Almighty. Today, I can tell you categorically that in the United Kingdom, the first minister of Wales, part and parcel of this United Kingdom that colonized, enslaved, subjugated, and still colonizing the zoo called Nigeria till today, a part of Britain have now said that they're going to divide. They will leave. Scotland will leave. Wales will leave. Northern Ireland will join the Irish Republic. And you only have the little England at last. And when all these things are happening to them because of their pride and ego, they will not acknowledge that the work they did against the children of God in Biafra land is what is responsible for their demands as a once great nation or a once great people. They are also on the path of decline and nothing can reverse it unless they stop meddling in the affairs of Biafra. The United Kingdom is over and a new union should be crafted to reflect a voluntary association of four nations. In other words, Britain will no longer exist. You have England, you have Wales, you have Scotland and you have Northern Ireland. The reason for that is because they meddled in the affairs of the children of God. As I told you earlier, 
Almighty God in heaven has a way of punishing his children. And we have been roundly punished, believe you me. If you have to be subjugated under the very cruel, barbaric rule of Fulani Janja Buddhism, you will understand what we are talking about. As I'm speaking to you right now, most villages are under siege. There are killings and rapings, abductions and murder going on right across the length and breadth of the Zoological Republic. But they cannot understand what is happening to them. They know that the problem of insecurity in Nigeria is intractable for the simple reason that they have allowed, failed, should I say, to allow Biafra to go. The sooner they understand this or realize this, the better for everybody. But I'm not sure they will because they are very stubborn and as God hadn't the heart of Pharaoh to fail, so are they also going to fail. And that is why those of them who are in Benue State that is why the likes of Governor Autumn or the very young man who was mouthing his rubbish um, a day or two ago concerning the deployment of Eastern Security Network into Lower Benue is in for a very, very difficult and horrible experience of their lives. Thank you for watching that video. And guys, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next video.